happens sometimes. A little bit of mystery can hold the key to creating the magic that may be missing from your Christmas. And our next guests are here to tell us how it happens in their new Hallmark Movies and Mysteries film, Unlocking Christmas. Please welcome back Taylor Cole and Steve Lund. Thanks. What's up, guys? Hello. Good to see you. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. Thanks for having us. You guys look fantastic. Happy holidays. That's Happy right. Happy holidays. <laughs> Uh, listen, this movie looks fantastic, guys. You guys play two strangers who, for different reasons, both end up in a small town in Texas. And, well, you guys aren't really all that happy about it, are you? <laughs> yeah, actually, Kate had just moved to Cedar Park for her medical fellowship, but it wasn't originally her first choice. She wanted to be in Chicago, which was the last place that she lived with her parents before they passed away. So when she gets to town, she's not really interested in romance or anything of the sort. So she just wants to be there for work, you know, be there for a year and get out. And so when she meets Kevin, she doesn't really pay much attention to him at first. Uh -huh. <laughs> first, that's right. But Steve, this is Kevin's hometown and he's just returned from the Air Force. He's not interested in dating, however, when mysterious clues start to appear on his doorstep, which lead him on a scavenger hunt of sorts, it changes everything. Isn't that right? It does. That's right. He's, he makes it very clear that he's not interested in dating. Um, he says that a few times in the movie. But yet, lo and behold, he's sent on this wild goose chase and all of a sudden has this wonderful person in front of him and they begin solving these clues together and, and uh, at first they're very resistant to one another they're both very stubborn both very independent don't need any help um, and then all of a sudden they sort of start to unlock things about each other that they have in common um, they both love puzzles they both love adventure this type of thing and before you know it, the floodgates are wide open and we're hitting it off and everybody's happy. Oh, look it's at amazing. that. It's amazing. And you discover new reasons why you both love this small town that you're not so thrilled about being at, which is pretty cool. And then we got a clip uh, where Kate and Kevin run into each other while trying to solve the mystery of the strange key that they've both been given. So let's take a look. That's it? Kate? Kevin? I know this is a small town, but it's not that small. You got one, too. Someone left us outside my door last night. Along with a riddle? Yeah, pretty easy one if you ask me. Ah, of course. I bet you didn't need any help with it at all. No, I didn't. I'm a certified genius. Didn't you know that? Is that so? Yes. OK, fine. But why were we both sent to the same place at the same time with the same key? Oh, look. Oh. I wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. Ready? Come this far. <gasps> oh, you're not going to cut oh! out there. Come on now. We got to see what was inside. Movie. What's inside? What's inside? You got to watch the movie <laughs> oh, that is to find so out. Fun. And I want to say this is actually this is a really really sweet story and a yeah. really creative script, you guys. I really love this film. Lots to be excited about for this, so congratulations on this movie. That's but also, right. I gotta say a big congratulations to you, Taylor, because you got married in a live stream wedding ceremony this past Aww, June. So oh my goodness. <laughs> I did. It was really, really great. We were going to have about 100 guests, but for everybody's safety, we just ended up canceling it and live streaming it, which was even better because we got to invite everyone, which was awesome. So That's right. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. It oh, also was amazing. It's the, uh, well, the story behind the engagement. We understand that there was a bit of an air of mystery to your proposal. and it, Coincidentally, your mom had a mysterious marriage proposal as well that kind of mirrored the holiday scavenger hunt in Unlocking Christmas. So tell us about these proposals, please. Well, it's very true. My, um, my husband and I love the game Clue. So we were downstairs in our game room with a few friends and a few close family members. And he went to the pool room to make his final accusation and pulled out the card and said, you know, Mr. Larson did it with the diamond ring in the game room. So oh, it was perfect <laughs> because he knew that I would die if he did something embarrassing or over the top. Like my stepdad who, I mean, not that it was embarrassing, but he just had, went 
above and beyond just the craziest proposal I have ever heard. It was just like a Hallmark script. In fact, I'm going to get him to write it. She was told through a series of clues that were written in hand calligraphy. Oh my goodness. Paper, this beautiful <laughs> uh, scenario to go pick out a dress downstairs. And when she was done with that, her, her ride was waiting for her, which was a horse and carriage. And the <gasps> horse and carriage took her to an art store that had a drawn out map of all the places that they had shared throughout uh, oh their relationship. Gosh. And <laughs> it just goes on and on. And the final stop was where the concierge got all the stuff that she had gathered and followed rose petals to this huge uh, fireplace where he was there with the key to unlock and uh, the ring was inside. Oh, <laughs> Taylor, this is not a movie. A crazy story. This is a trilogy, a movie, at yeah. least. It's a trilogy, it's at least. I mean, it's movie. not just it's one movie. movie. I mean, how it's can... It's going to star you and I. There you You're go. You're going to write it. Yes. It's going to be... How can any <laughs> man ever live up to that? That Never. is... Exactly. I That's mean, why I was like, just do it in the game room. <laughs> I mean, that is a lot. What an amazing guy. What a sweet story. And I mean, obviously, you can't say no. You could. Your mom had no choice but to say yes. <laughs> exactly. Now, Steve, before we go, Taylor told us something really interesting about you. I love this because I'm a big music head. She said that you can whistle just about any song you have ever heard or any song ever written and that you do it very well. So I'd like to know, how confident do you feel about Christmas songs? Since it is the season, we thought maybe we'd test you a little bit. I mean, that's very nice of Taylor, by the way. I did not know that this was going to happen, but uh, I feel very <laughs> confident with Christmas songs. And yeah, I'll whistle anything you need. Okay, course. well, you'll be whistling more than Dixie in just a minute, because I'll tell you what, we have three <laughs> in here, and we are going to pick one at random, okay? okay. You ready, okay. Cameron? Uh, yes. Let me play you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, Hours the song will be this one. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Classic. Oh, uh, easy one. Ready? Oh, my goodness. How's that? That is really beautiful. That's wow. not just your typical whistle. <laughs> I thought I could whistle. No. I mean, that's that real has whistling. like inflection and all kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, the whole happen. thing. Yeah, the I mean, I just yeah, I didn't I want you to that. stop. That's really impressive, man. Well oh, done. Amazing, amazing. Hey, give me another one. What, do you, get, what uh, you else know what? you got? Hold on a minute. <laughs> now that we're at it, we wish you a Merry Christmas. How about that one? Oh, no problem. I mean, I mean, I'm, I didn't think that there was such thing as a professional whistler, but I think you could be right? like a professional whistler for Disney. If I heard that whistling like in a movie job. or something, I'd be like, that's fake. Nobody <laughs> whistles that good. I mean, that's crazy. That's amazing. That was man. amazing. You guys are great. Congratulations on this movie and on everything else you got going on, including your whistling skills. I mean, it's just so good. Uh, be sure to tune in to the premiere of Unlocking Christmas. It's happening this Sunday night at 10, 9 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, everybody. Plus, keep up with all of our amazing Miracles of Christmas premieres with our Hallmark Movie Checklist app. You can add movies to your watch list. You can watch trailers and a whole lot more than that. It's free and available on iOS and Android. So check it out.